man on the pitch, posing for photographs before the game. It is expected that he will be moving to the city of Manchester before the next home game here. May play against Athletic Bilbao next week. Jordi Alba on the blind side, out of Turin. Barcelona are off to a flyer. They ease their way through the Real Betis defence. Same old Barca. It's the quickness in the way that they change the point of attack. Long diagonal pass. Oh, the Turin in smashing form. Enjoying his new role. He's the replacement at the moment for Neymar. Not playing in the midfield role that we saw him last season occupy for Barcelona. Getting himself into goal scoring positions. Messi with a diagonal pass. An intelligent leave by Denis Suarez because he knows that even the short time he's been at the club, Jordi Alba is going to be pushing on into that attacking position. Jordi Alba cuts out. First dabs though, Martin is with him. It's Castro. It's a wonderful strike. Old man Ruben Castro has done the damage. That's the first goal that Barcelona have conceded in competitive football in almost 13 hours. You analyse this if you're Luis Enrique, how do you stop this? Maybe not give away the free kick, it was a 50-50 call. But once a set piece has been given, there's no way you can stop that. He's hit it with such power, accuracy. Why does he get a touch to it? Position like this. Different on the other side with Jordi Alba. Here's Roberto. To Messi. Messi drives it in. Unstoppable. New season. First sighting of a La Liga goal for Lionel Messi. I'm just going to praise the efforts of Real Betis in terms of how they've got out and they've closed down. A considerable amount of shots at goal from Barcelona and got those blocks in, got out there quickly. But he just needs the slightest gap. Works it away onto his left foot. Little short touches. You see they drop off him when they're aware the danger is there. They try to get out. But again, it's it's the power of the effort, but it's also the yeah, accuracy. He's not just hitting it. it quickly. This is Rakitic. Busquets, Messi, Sergio Roberto. Oh, brilliant! Absolutely brilliant! He took it literally in his stride, Luis Suarez. TMS, Turan, Messi, Suarez. And let's not forget again their contribution of Sergio Roberto. Let's talk about getting used to playing in that right back position. And they hit a right back to Barcelona, wherever it is, Dani Alves, Sergio Roberto, Vidal, guilty on occasions, just hoisting the ball into the box. And it requires patience, because the movement is always going to be there. The sharpness is always going to be there with the attacking players of Barcelona, and certainly the ability and quality is always there. It just buys his time, rolls it back, cuts it back to Luis Suarez. Good pace on the cutback as well. If it's too hard, Suarez has to take a touch to control it. Sergio Roberto just sets it up nicely, but in saying that, plenty of work to do, not exactly. just to hit the target. Way line. To, but to be to a long haul back the for them here. Post. Adam Turan waits it beautifully. Perfect for Messi. Busquets is in the attack. It's like a, an Olympic sprint final here. Who can keep up with Messi? Turan. Messi continues the run. They are tearing Real Betis apart. And this is a statement of intent. Day one and Barcelona are playing football with a huge smile on their face. A second for Suarez. I'm right, that was a corner for Betis, wasn't it? Within three or four passes, it's a tap-in in the six-yard box for Luis Suarez. And so the enthusiasm there from Sergio Busquets to break forward from a, a defensive position just to add numbers, just to create confusion. It's Lionel Messi again just stayed out you can see Messi just drifting out keeping out of the way of anything to run into Suarez into Messi and look at Busquets go the intention of drawing away defenders which is exactly what he does he's done he said by us he gets drawn across to Busquets leaves a little bit of space Turan gets it back into Messi he's just running the show 
And Suarez with a tough in at the far post. Unselfish play for Messi. And they look like they really enjoy themselves. The amount of players Betis do well to get back. But they still can't stop Lionel Messi and Luis Suarez combining. They make it look so easy. We did know that when the corner was being taken that the defence had been given permission to go forward. Messi's at it again. Blink and you miss a goal at the camp now. Messi makes it five for Barcelona. I tell you what, well, we've watched a lot of football over the summer. From the end of last season, we've had European Championships and the giveaway possession here. Charlie Masunda under pressure. Busquets snapping away. Harder to run, picks the ball up. He just slides it into Messi. And he does the rest. And an Uri finish. Accurate, powerful again. And again, no chance for the Real Betis goalkeeper, Adan. It's interesting as well because the two Lionel Messi goals have been fine individual goals. I read somebody, somebody suggesting that maybe he had peaked. It's Suarez, it's a hat trick. The top scorer in the top leagues in Europe last season has put down a marker for the rest of them. 6-1 Barcelona, half of the goals scored by Luis Suarez. Let's get this right, because Suarez get, he got 14 goals in the last five league games of last season to drag his team over the goal line. It's another three today. It's ridiculous statistics, and he is, as I say, one of the best, if not the best, out-and-out centre-forward in world football. He's delivered since joining Barcelona and he delivers on that set piece. He takes responsibility over Messi, takes his turn to take one. He wraps his foot around it, beats the goalkeeper, gets it over the wall. Great technique, great skill. And just sheer hunger for scoring goals, game after game after game. Well, for the last decade or so, there have been only two contenders for the Ballon d'Or. Happy off the field, ecstatic on it. Loose ball. Well, they leave with a little souvenir at Real Betis. Second goal for Ruben Castro. At least he knows that he has a deadly striker on his hands. Gus Poet, Castro's second of the game. Somewhat spoiling the departing party for keeper Claudia Bravo. It's a typical Castro goal, isn't it? Yeah, sharply. An accurate finish. Ooh, a sharpshooter in front of goal. Disappoint Bravo. He's had a lot to do. The caption said two attempts from Barcelona. I could have uh, from Betis. I could only remember the one. Certainly two now on both from Castro and resulted in goal. किसी डंकी वाले पे लगाएंगे या कभी जॉब क्योंकि बुलेट बहुत कम है अंदर है ऐसे इतना बॉस है इसके अंदर या बॉस आराम को आ गया मेरे पास दिखा तुझे बोला नहीं पूरा Oh, yeah, well, oh, oh, oh.